Hi everyone. Uh, so today we're talking to Dr. Anisha, who has secured a rank one zero nine in INI November twenty three. So Anisha, very well done and congratulations. And uh, how are you feeling? Uh, and and the stage is all yours now. Thank you so much, ma'am. Ma'am, it's been an incredible journey, and I'm so grateful uh, to you and to Cerebellum Academy that I've reached this stage. And um, I was actually not expecting this result because I think um, after the recall that I made, I was getting around fifty incorrect. But uh, so you told us that uh, if you get forty incorrect, then you get a rank of one. Yeah. So I was expecting to get a rank much behind this. So. I was grateful and I was really, really happy when I saw one zero nine on the screen. Amazing! I think uh, the recalls tend to be, you know, uh, uh, plus minus twenty. It always goes because there are around twenty questions where you can never be sure of what answer you know will actually be. So that happened in my case and probably yours as well. You know that we can't really narrow it down to the T, and then hopefully it worked in your favor. So, so uh, very happy to see that. So, uh, you know, take me through your journey. Was this your first attempt? Uh, how did you prepare? And you know, from NEET to INI, uh, you know, how how did you uh, actually strategize? Uh, Ma'am, actually, um, I was uh, preparing for PLAB, that is the UK exam. Uh, in the last meet, also, I was uh, I went for the exam just after preparing for PLAB. So I got a rank of seventy two hundred with all that preparation. My parents forced me. My parents were so much uh, hesitant for me to drop that seat, but I was sure that if I have to give um, an asset, I will give it all of my uh, energy and my power. So in July, I finally dropped the idea of PLAB and started preparing. preparing for uh, and i said uh, before that i did not know about you so i was preparing from my marrow uh, uh, marrow videos because i i had done it from uh, third year so for one and a half month i covered all the revision videos then one of my friend told me about you who went on to secure 74 rank so i think that was a great idea for the both of us we started together in mid of august i remember that was your last cycle for the exam so you told us to take a baseline gt for that and that was my first gt for the exam uh, i secured a rank of 1000 in it so i was quite uh, demotivated but i thought uh, your words echoed in my ears every day that take baby baby steps because you know if you look at the whole picture it is quite overwhelming the syllabus is quite huge 19 subjects so i took it from there started watching your videos and ma'am i i'm not over exaggerating it but i fell in love with all your content it was so much revisable uh, i think i have had uh, three revisions of your content i don't think anyone any uh, other academy offers this platform that you can revise it even once uh, let it be three so uh i also attended your delhi btr in october i was done with all of your uh, videos and i also gave your uh, test and dic discussion and i think that prepped me for us mle as well my brother is pre preparing for us mle and i used to do his modules for practice and he was shocked to see that on my first module i scored 80% he he is prepared for four months and he he is getting 65% in it <laughs> so uh, my parents also pushed me that you give uh, us mle step one also man has prepared you for that <laughs> so but ma'am uh, i nsc i nsc was not something i thought i would crack but i was aiming for it my parents always pushed me ki neet ke liye taiyari karo because that is the ultimate goal but ma'am uh, once you once you said in your btr also that your story should not end like this and you have the capability to preserve your dreams and aim for the best so i thought uh, that if i can dream about it i can reach it so i i just went on with what you told us i uh, i trusted it fully and i just gave okay. the exam amazing so so happy to see your entire journey and you know just the fact that you prepared for plab also uh, you've done well in neat as a baseline also you've done well in neat usmle also you know you put your <laughs> so basically just uh, what i take away from it is uh, you know your concepts are strong your foundation is strong so so when you add btr to a strong foundation then you know it works like magic that is what i feel you know uh, just if you start with btr it becomes kind of difficult uh, for uh, somebody to appreciate it or to grasp it so so your yes. foundation uh, being strong speaks for the fact that you've done so well you know um, like you uh, unanimously in all of the things that you've done you've overall done well maybe your expectations uh, you know it might not have met but but you know you have been a good performer throughout so 
so so amazing and i'm so happy you know that eventually you you got the dream uh, and you got the dream result and you will be in in a central institute and that makes me so so happy um, so, just tell me about your mbbs days uh, as well where did you do your mbbs from and how were you as a student back then uh but my uh, did my mbbs from gmch 32 chandigarh so ma'am uh, i think uh, for mbbs that college holds a very strong ground because the teachers well the exams are very very tough it is yeah. quite difficult to clear the uh, practical part so mm-hmm. uh, that pushed me enough uh, ma'am uh, i think consistently for the past 5 years i have been in top 10 of my class so uh because i i had that dream that i have to get into a good pg or i, I just ma'am i just love medicine a lot so um i never aim to get a good rank or a score but i aim to learn more ma'am i belong to a family of doctors so i always my mother is a radiologist and my dad is a dentist but i think they never had uh, that background that they could um you know prescribe medicines or tell the relatives because you know so i always loved pharmacology in that aspect because everyone used to come to me for uh, the medicines and all so i think ma'am i i was in love with my profession so i never thought it of as a burden i mean uh, and gradually ma'am with that i also uh, had an inclination towards radiology not because of the you know you don't get that much exposure in mbbs for radiology but because of my mom's lifestyle but when i saw you i started idolizing you and now i am i even i'll have to go to some distant peripheral aims i am sure that i want to do radiology now amazing i'm i'm sure your mom is happier with that decision <laughs> yes uh, ma'am so much yeah, the, the benefit of radiology is that it keeps you in touch with you know the core of medicine so that love for for you know medicine in general always stays alive and uh, uh, the other advantage is obvious you know the kind of flexibility that you get in your life and you know the the work life balance is amazing so so you know that way it's a great mix of having uh, good academics and a good lifestyle uh, you know um, in yes, it ma'am. so happy you know that that's what you're going to do and hopefully we'll meet soon now as colleagues uh, thank you so much ma'am very happy. it would be a privilege <laughs> absolutely and i'm just so happy that you've done this entire process with a smile on your face and with that passion that you know i'm not just doing it for the exam it's in the end i'm learning medicine you know that is what is the approach that a lot of students um, tend to forget about there is just so much uh, at stake in in those 3 hours that they focus too much on that yes it's true but then you have to you know take the entire process in the picture that ultimately you are doing it to become a good doctor right so so that is what we've lived for our entire adult life and that is what we are studying for so so you've done that exactly and and you know uh, so happy uh, to see that different perspective Um, so if you want to you know guide your juniors now who are preparing for neat so so what what would you tell them to do in the final 3 months what would be your advice to your juniors now um i'm finally i want to tell them that um even if someone is starting right now because i started 4 months before before i and i said and this is neat i think it is a bit easier than i and i said you don't need concept so thoroughly and if you've done your uh, final year and third year well enough you can easily crack it and you also have plethora of seats so many options in this so first of all it is not late to start right now you can always start um uh, ma'am uh, i started following maro i have given my gts from maro but uh, honestly i am so biased for your content that i cannot suggest something else um uh, because what i've seen is if you have a strong foundation you've studied in professional exams then btr is very handy for you uh, because i think anyone who is who who has planned to do medicine for the exam should go and follow your material for medicine at least because the medicine is so vast it cannot be revised at all and multiple revisions are more important than going through it everything all at once because they don't test the rare things they test the common things and you should have that on your tips the their time time is a problem and everything is a problem it should click at once in the exam so that is much more important and ma'am i also suggest i i was i i thought that i would not be able to crack this exam so for the next need i had already made my strategy i thought me and my friend who uh, who is 74 rank we uh, prepared and planned that we will now uh, give gts every sunday because i think ma'am gts prepare you for the final day on the final day as well i think my hands were shaky and i uh, i i i secured better ranks in my 
I may set mocks and GPs. Then this exam, I was getting top fifty, top seventy five rank. But in the exam, I got so nervous because of the change pattern. So give GTs very often and evaluate them on the same day. Uh, I I think they would. I they I think they should go by your content only. Uh, I don't think anything else is required. But uh, for some subjects which I think are very important. For pharmacology, I think everyone must do Dr. Jia Ji sir notes because they are incredible. I have done them thrice or four times, and pharmacology was quite hefty and quite complicated in the exam. And ma'am, for OBGYN and also, I would recommend that they should do revision videos because uh, they should do MCQs because they give you a scenario that cannot be learned through theory but by practicing more and more MCQs. So yeah. that would be my take. Yeah. So basically, don't run after content. It will only yes. take you to a certain level. After that, it's how many MCQs you've practiced and how many times you know you've faced that theory can be molded in ten different forms and the answer changes. You know, so yes. that exposure that every student will need before the exam. Otherwise, just notes. A lot of students keep doing content over content, and you know it is not going to take you. Uh, Great, thank you. So that is yeah. something uh, which is uh, common to all toppers. You know that understanding that concepts itna ho gaya. ठीक है. Factual questions we master and we have to revise it again and again. After that, that's how your ability to solve MCQs is gonna take you, you know, further. So uh, so great and and you know uh, so happy. Please convey our uh, regards to your parents and your family as well. And all the very best. Hoping to meet you soon. Uh, hopefully. And name me or us. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, ma'am. Congratulations and God bless you. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye bye.